Welcome to another show on Matters Africa. This week we host an incredible woman with an incredible story on an incredible mission, Mama Sarah Obama. We also get your views on the issues and we have Africa's top 10. You're watching the Africa Leadership Dialogues. I'm Julie Yishuru. Mama Sarah Obama is a name known not just in Kenya, but across Africa and the world. She has an incredible profile. Let's take a look at it. The Mama Sarah Obama Foundation is the realization of a long-term dream founded in 2009. It is a charitable non-profit organization whose mission is to improve the education and welfare of disenfranchised children in order to help them successfully achieve their goals and have a better future. This mission is accomplished by providing early childhood education, offering primary and secondary education and sponsoring the Mamasara Scholarship Fund for Higher Education. Its vision is a world where children are nurtured and supported physically, educationally and emotionally to thrive and succeed in life. Mama Sarah, we are delighted to have you on the show. First and foremost, your journey has been an incredible one. Your life, your mission, which really has been to help even in community service. My first question to you is, what inspires you? school Nijo nyol gionge nito koro denyo. Kako yudu chiemu amie. Kichuko wacho kama nito koro amie. Adu alumunu so mchiemu bedi maisa. Mbele mwenye aloko nyorego. Na atero giki mangenyi. Fruit nwa pedo mangenyi. Mapera, mawembe. Popo samono kaneno gita liwongogi. Amiyogi. So I'm going to come back to society and what's going on in society and, and where we are failing. But first, I, I have to ask you, um, just looking at the legacy of your family um, and looking at what can be accomplished with education when you look at Barack Obama in the presidency, what does it make you feel? Nyakawangi, kakwa lose, wakony, katanitino, makonyogi, gine madbiudung karwa. The Mama Sarah Obama Foundation has quite a number of objectives. You're looking at early childhood development, health as well. You're looking at vocational training centers and scholarships. So what do you think we need to do on top of all of this in terms of building young people who are ready for this world that you say is very difficult? What values and characteristics do we need to instill in young people? Imaneno ananeno ni mono wa konpi. Ni tsino go kwa konyo ge gine magbi odon karwa. Ka gi yudo tich gi tiyo to gi do konyere pinyalo bedo maber. Inyalo yudo nyathi otiko school tichonge to en nyathi kich. Mane marwa ko gi wechi maricho mineno ni tsindo ni goni. To ka o ka gi omi gi tich mo tiko school imi tich. Ka ka ansani Nitie me kamuse tiku school. Moko yopuan, moko be ningenye tendo matere college. These are all critical areas for development, Mama Sarah. But there's a question we must ask ourselves as a society is, why do we have so many orphans? In many of our communities, we're seeing a lot of divorce and, and single mothers. We're seeing almost a breakdown of the structure of family. 
Why is this and how can we address this issue? I don't know how to do it. 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 Todi o yudo nga mao usipi maga alu alu. Tae todi o neno kama isa teko. Owe ye, ginyi nthindo, toko no nyomi. Manuri icho chandu wa ginyi nthi teko. Munye nthindo so, todi tedo nga mao kawe o beda beda na yudo chore. Manu ko beda na yudo chore, engresu wakto, gima duwa ngten kalam, unye nyati o so. Kichiko so mo kata chore owe ye, toti yoto katen ginyi nthindo, Opuonjo, odi mnambele. School bear. Aero school, le momine na aero nyati ati ayo yote. Oka aero ni kabila mane, kabila mane. Dano en dano. Nyiti kia tadu wa manu wakonyo. Okonyo wa manu wakonyo. Kimu kilo toma ngei, iwe nyiti nda beach. To iwe egi dhako mo kia katatidu cha ikatango. Nyati koro kudua di school, lolo kre chokra. Koro mano aduan jopin atau mata kuat konyu kiege mano giu teach mano giu kaka gibedo. And Mama Sarah, you have stood up for the children for for many years, for the widows now, for people who need training, who need education and don't have an opportunity. You are standing up for them through the Mama Sarah Obama Foundation. But we do have leaders in place who should have done certain things. Where do you think we fail in leadership, particularly when it comes to issues like HIV AIDS in the population and making sure people have access to health care? Why have we not done better? I know that the town is a good chakra. I don't know how to do it. 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 Jotelo kongi, jogi rie, rie kahinya joma nigirieko. Owinyo wa kongi, okwa kongi nigibilo konyo wa. Kata ambe oka kongi nigibilo konyo wa. Adu walo nigibedi, mono gine magibilo bedo karwa. Wapuwe njige. Jima nga ito neno nitichmati yoni, ninyan kwa rama kilo peso hoyo. Joke nya gijoma bilo neno dala wa. Kadu waro konyo toka nye mambe antie. Gise gedo na nyaka na usari manye nthendo. Neke chuwachi no, nika kagi bilo tangi soge. Toena kuwa michunyi. Ngami ye, chunyi yo ye. O kakuwa ge, jomo komi ya chunyi. So the message, Mama Sarah, is no matter who you are or what you have, your heart should be open. Do something, is what I understand that you are saying. Mano igi mani usoni kicho, ai nyalo yuko katanga malemo, menpa diri tu chunya racho. Tomano kaka bed ngama chunya le konya tanga ta, oki konya no blo konya, e konya igi mo duo koni ero kamano, oti mo mabel. Stay with the African Leadership Dialogues. Mama Sarah, you're an incredible woman, and I say this because I've read the book of, of uh, Barack Obama's book, and he tells the story of you coming into a family and looking after children who, who were not yours, but becoming a mother to them. Um, it also tells the story of your husband being a disciplinarian and a harsh man, and you being able to maneuver through the situation for a lot of African women. Um, Many are struggling to find their space and the strength in society. What words of advice, as someone who's gone through so much, would you have for them? Mon tase wacho, gibed gichu into chu no nyansai mam yongat, an mara nyansai manomia. To era en gima bel. Nekich era no kibedo gi era, inyalori to go dala kama inti. Ken inyalo konyo kata nintendo mam mege gyoto. Mano engi makare ni kichunya nito pogre apoga kata gijomo nyualu wa gode ito chiyan. Gionge gichunya, gimbe giwaro, chunya ango. Ni kichunya ango ni, jate la dhia kapo ni school, la dhia ne ni school. Kwa wacho ni mi uo nontoto, kwa limetu inti ni lime school. Nyaka dhi, 
Allah school. Mama Sarah, let's talk about your grandson for a moment. Some would describe him as the most powerful man in the world. But also he has a lot of responsibility on his shoulders. It's not an easy position to be in. What are your thoughts for him? What are your prayers for him? Your husband was also part of supporting the community and I think he gave this the land next door to your property in Kogelo, which is now a secondary school. If he saw Barack Obama president today, what do you think he would say? No aerogic mabeo, can an aero loso gimoro, can an aero conyongato. Omio kata nyakware ni teach maduo, or it na pain nikich. Kido manya thin on the got on Dalawaku, Wun Marebe no herujite, Ambe Adani Ayrujite, Kwan Marebe, oh he no heruji, Namati Mamara Choku Erogiawan. Dig Nagiero Gima in the Leo, Onge Gima Givacho, Kane Kaman, Kagi Bedi, Gedwaran School no the Malu, Monogio so me, Kakaji so many. Nagin Jomo Erom Nagima in the Leo Gisomo. Negiero, Catoba Mansinia, no air school lainia. Cata wun, no air school, no do nyaka, nyati osum, nyatin wawa punjote. Cata magos wedewa, bemonko a chudo next school fees. Qua dark god. Mama Sarah, we, we have so many problems in society, and I think you've taught us today that it starts in the heart, that if you have love, then everything is possible. And also you've talked about education, which is critical. But um, what message would you have to share with not just Kenyans, but Africans? What message do you have for Africa in terms of what we as individuals need to do to play our role in transforming the continent as you are doing? <laughs> Kenya msima wabe duka chiel di kwe glamu to wakony pin nyithindo wakony jomon tie wabe di chuma nyasai ni kich kimomi ana ena nyo pinyo konya konya ngato ok ni kataka kuru akony jini anma mara manya sai to chuma ngoni no kasomu to mianya odie chuo yo gudu to kasomu Kisumo, kena chaka di moi university, ayu de certificate mara. Tuen na wa chun, neke chun ma ber, endi ma ber. Ki konyonga togo nso erukamano, ome dindalu, manakamano wa ber gikwe, mano wa chak na gero pinyone, wa songo no sewe no ane Kenya, en mara Afrika, kora Afrika bongi na kaka. Loso yi tijigini. Wa maku wa maka gihera wa mbe wa ti. Yomane rulo wa nowe nwa ni mano marwa. Koro wa mbe wangi kakadu wa ti marwa. Mana kamane gimaneno. Mama Sarah, you started off by telling us that you yearned for education. You didn't get a chance to get it. And we finished with you telling us that you've been awarded a PhD from Great Lakes and you've got a certificate from Moy University. And truly, those are blessings. I, I want to thank you for being with us and for what you do, um, for the legacy that you're living, uh, leaving for Africa, for Kenya. Um, you truly are Mama Africa, the women that we want to see on the continent finally Tell us, what do you want in terms of the legacy of the Mama Sarah Obama Foundation? What would the perfect transformation and picture that you leave behind be? 
Wager School, Hospital, Walor Spain, Mono be member in Tiki be Wakon, Mono so Mane Gimada hair Ninkata and Adwaran Mono, Cotti Mereka Mano ten Gimabe, Korwal loss of Pinwa. Wambe one in Vegi, what he teach your tear at here. Pingi man Walos Macamano. Mana Camano mio Marani. O kabi wacho ni kichmara nto manya saye. Ema miya. Kendo miya sebo te pinya mangain. Kilu wangano di onena. Angama chunye kagi winjo wachna. Gine nega seti gini tibi gini. Kolo jo mangain mo miya saye dondege. Adi kundi mo pogro pogre. Thank you so much, Mama Thank Sarah, you, Mama. for standing up for the people in your community and for Africa and setting such an incredible example. We love what you do. Thank, Thank you, you so Mama. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Stay with the Africa Leadership Dialogues. What an incredible, inspiring interview with an awesome woman. She really takes my breath away. Now let's get your views on the issues. This week we asked you, how can African states improve on education for the development of the continent? Anne Waithera says, education is eternal, I believe, whether formal or informal. You live, you learn. When did apprenticeship die? As much as books are vital for learning, the paper achievement seems to be a con for students and Africa. Our education system should incorporate practical with technical. It's time to quit burying our heads in books and marry idealism with realism. Stephen Maende says, African states should recognize that education has been commercialized in most of our institutions and must thus take remedial measures so as to produce smart, creative and innovative brains which can take this resourceful continent to the next level. I'm Anthony Mwangi from Ngatarongai Rimpa and I think one of the ways that African governments can use education as a tool for development is putting much, much, much more resources on the ground, on infrastructure and uh, also uh, using, putting resources on the human side you know, so that we have much more staff, much more teachers for per child, not having 80 kids to one teacher, and also uh, giving opportunities to these people who are in the school system to get experience, be exposed, and just get experience from, you know, attachments and all that, and also exploring the talents that the kids have so that it is showcased in the various places, counties, what, so that we come up with something which is from the counties up, building up to the national level, so that we can use all that we have in this country using our education system. To join our conversation, go to our G Plus page, Africa Leadership Dialogues, on Facebook, Africa Leadership Dialogues, on Twitter, at Africa LD, and on WhatsApp, send your video comments to plus 254 715-816-033 And it's time now for Africa's Top 10. On Africa's Top 10 this week, we feature countries with the highest adult literacy rate. Adult literacy rate is the percentage of people aged 15 and above who can understand, read and write a short simple statement on their everyday life. Starting us off at number 10 is Libya with a literacy rate of 82.6%. Coming in at number 9 is the Democratic Republic of Congo with a literacy rate of 83.8%. At number 8 with a literacy rate of 84.4% is Mauritius. Lesotho comes in at number 7 with a literacy rate of 84.8%. Positioned at number 6 with a literacy rate of 84.9% is Sao Tome and Principe. Slotted in at number 5 is Namibia with a literacy rate of 85%. Taking the number 4 spot with a literacy rate of 85.1% is Kenya. At number 3 is South Africa with a literacy rate of 86.4%. Coming in at number 2 is Equatorial Guinea with a literacy rate of 87%. And 
And at number 1 this week is Zimbabwe with a literacy rate of 90.7%. And that's Africa's Top 10 this week. Now it's time to close the show and usually I give you a proverb, but this week we're honored with the presence of Mama Sarah Obama. So I'll ask you, Mama Sarah, do you have a favorite proverb that you can share with our audience, please? Pole pole ndio mwendo. <laughs> pole pole ndio mwendo. <laughs> Santa sana. Slowly by slowly, we, we move forward. Mm. Um, thank you so much for joining us. A great mm. pleasure to have mm. Mama Sarah with us. And we look forward to being with you again on Africa Leadership Dialogues next week. Blessings to you and blessings to Africa.